What's up, everybody? It's the Classic Tycoon here, and we are back for episode two, and sort of the official start of Million Dollar Mission season three. Super excited to get into this one today, guys. Um, thanks so much, everybody, for your feedback and and letting me know what you'd like to see in this series. I'm really excited um, for this one. So I had to make a a small change, by the way to the um, actual scenario of the park. Initially, I'd set this to the goal just being to have 5,000 guests in the park at any time. The problem with that is you can't let your park rating drop below a 700. Now, that's maybe for season four, we can do something like that. Um, but for now, I just don't want the pressure of that because a lot of times it is very, very difficult to keep a park rating above 700 for... Um, that duration because there are so many small things that can happen to your park that cause the rating to just drop b below a 700 for reasons that are really a lot of times out of your control so i'm not gonna have that for now i decided to change it to the goal of having 5,000 guests in the park by the end of october year 10 so we'll kind of keep that in the back of our mind again that's not the main goal the main goal is to get three million dollars um total um uh in hand cash in hand three million dollars but i think that'll be some a fun side mission five thousand guests is a lot of guests in a park it's actually pretty difficult to get that many guests so we'll see what we can do there um, as we go along uh the first thing i'm going to do in the park is put in a couple of um smaller rides we'll do a motion simulator here to kind of appease the the thrill seeking guests um hopefully they'll enjoy that and then we'll put a ferris wheel in for the guests that prefer the less intense rides i am going to try to make this park a little bit prettier than usual kind of like what i was doing in season two guys i am a far cry from a decorative <laughs> um roller coaster tycoon builder I, I i try to build nice looking roller coasters <laughs> excuse me i try to build nice looking roller coasters but um yeah as far as using the decorations to make really pretty looking parks that's definitely not my strong suit but I'll, I'll I'll try to do my best. I'll I'll try to make it, you know, look pretty as we go along. So the first ride I'm going to put in is a wild mouse. This is a bit different than anything um, I've done in the past. Usually I like to start with like a wooden roller coaster, or my favorite is a junior roller coaster. So I thought I'd switch it up a bit and start out with a wild mouse. Um, I'm also going to build a custom design Wild Mouse. I don't do that very often either. Um, Wild Mouse is one of the few rides that I'd really like to do the pre-built options. But in this case, I figured what the heck and let's go for it. The reason why I don't like building Wild Mouse rides as, as much is because they are kind of difficult to please the guests with. Um, as far as putting in block break sections, it's difficult to fit enough in the ride to keep the flow going um, in the queue line. And I'll show you what I mean. Or I'll, I'll see if I can show you what I mean after I'm, I'm done building the ride itself. And once we've opened it up. Um, but they're not, they're not like... They are fun to build. I mean, I won't, I won't complain at all on, on actually building the ride. The only thing is like fitting enough block break sections because you can only fit four guests per train or per mouse car, I guess. So they're just not the best money makers. But we'll start out the park with it. As you can see, I can only fit four uh, mouse cars. But that is what it is.
and as you can see at the station platform this is actually gonna be okay I think four will be enough to keep somewhat of a flow going but it's kinda like the go-karts where you just I'm just gonna need I might well I might need like an entertainer in the line or something we'll see what happens I won't put one in there initially but it might be worth doing that we'll see what the guests think uh, pretty decent ratings there especially for a first roller coaster and a, a cheap one like a wild mouse um, I'll be happy with that we'll we'll get this thing opened up and it'll be our first uh, real money maker I think All right, let's uh, <clears throat> let's get this pathway built. I do like the the colors. I'm sorry, <clears throat> I'm a little bit sick, so I've been dealing with a cough for the past like couple months now, and my uh, my throat keeps getting clogged up. Not that you guys wanted to know that. I do like the colors that came with that wild mouse. Um, Usually the pre-selected colors are pretty hideous, but in this case, I kind of liked them. So let's throw in some abstract scene or theming, <laughs> abstract themed scenery, along with this roller coaster. I think that would look kind of nice. It might fit in. So let's put a couple of these just at at the uh, entrance. I think that would look good here. So just a few of these. Maybe some of these taller ones back behind. I think that looks pretty nice. And this is about the extent of my creativity as far as um as far as putting in, you know, decorating my park goes, but Hey, it looks better than nothing, right? I might have to look up some videos on how to make my park a little bit prettier uh, myself. If I find anything interesting, I'll, I'll link it in the description or, or I'll make another video and, and I'll, I'll show you guys what I find. But for now, that'll be good enough. So for the last couple minutes here, we're just going to do a few maintenance things. Um, we do need to put in some food and drink stalls. So let's do that as well as a, a bathroom to get us started. I think I will charge for bathrooms this time around as well. So just 10 cents throughout the park. Once you get, uh, you know, 15 bathroom stalls, it's nice to just have a little bit of revenue to offset the costs of having well, a restroom stall going. So here's our little park going here. 187 guests in the park so far. And that will start climbing steadily as we as we go through here, take a look at what the guests are thinking for a moment. Nothing too bad. We're getting a little congestion around the information kiosk. I pretty much always go up with this setup with the information kiosk being surrounded by pathway, but I've been reconsidering it lately because it seems like guests just get so lost. So I might fix that in the near future we'll see I won't do it right now but if it go, if it becomes a problem um, it might be worth just having the information kiosk on the side like like everything else normally is but all right guys I think that's all we're gonna do for today uh, thanks so much for watching really appreciate the views and and all of you subscribers out there I'll catch you guys in the next video Hey everybody, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sean Greer. He is Classic Tycoon's first member. Sean, 
huge thank you so much for becoming a member of um, the Classic Tycoon channel. If you would like to become a member as well, please look at the link in the description below. Have a good one, guys.